start the show with something special. Uh, this is one of our regulars, ladies and gentlemen, to get things started here tonight. This guy, one of the longest tenured regulars in the history of the show. One of my favorite comedians. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Crazy. With 60 seconds uninterrupted. Here he is, William Montgomery. Uh, I wish they'd attach an iPad to a shake weight so we could form a tight-knit community. Um, I'm kind of jealous of Peloton, of people riding their bikes in their living room, cheering each other on. Meanwhile, I'm in the basement with a shake weight looking like I'm training for the dice rolling Olympics. Uh, the best part about a shake weight is that you lose 12 pounds in one square inch of your body and you have the fucking most ripped muscle inside of your right elbow. Meanwhile, the left elbow looks like Danny DeVito at a nudist resort. Uh, whenever I pull down my underwear, my dick looks like Danny DeVito auditioning for Taxi. <laughs> uh, but seriously, I don't know if y'all heard, but Casper the Friendly Ghost died a couple days ago. <laughs> All right. Just hit the button, Redman. You just wanted to... Why don't you just say thank you? That's my time or something. Thank you. That's my time. There you go. Hey. And the Christmas tree is to be holiday. Yeah. Christmas music. Love it. You love Christmas, right, William? I do. I uh, grew up Jewish, actually, but I... Uh, you didn't grow up Jewish. That's the crazy part of what you just said. I know I was going to try to make up a story about how I grew up Jewish, but then we uh, uh, got into Christianity and got big into Christmas. That's right. Uh, speaking of Christmas, you were given uh, tens and tens of gifts last week as the shorts really started pouring in here at the Comedy Store. I was. I have some new ones on tonight. That is a beautiful new pair of shorts, buttons, zipped up. Everything is working. It's operational. Do you have a belt on those? No? Oh, you do? Wow. Look at you, you class act. Incredible. These are actually, for everybody wondering, I, I actually wear a size uh, 38, not a 40. So all those 40s I threw away. But it was really sweet of y'all. You did not throw away 40s. It was really sweet of y'all. Yeah, what did your... Probably, uh, what did you your... should get those 40s back, buddy. You should get the 40s <laughs> yeah. back. What does that mean? <laughs> well, it's a little... The belt's a little tight. They're hanging a little bit. Let's there. just not say when tight. you lifted your shirt, I thought, game recognize game. <laughs> <laughs> So, William, what did your, have you spoken to your family or your girlfriend about the new shorts? What are they saying? What's the report? From they the love it. Yeah. It's big. It's everybody loves it. Your girl probably likes how your butt smells better now. Oh, Jesus. Red band. My huh? God. Watch it, Red Band. Yeah, yeah huh? You're, you're going to end up with cold. I'm always watching. Oh. Wow, I bet you are. That's creepy when you say it like that. <laughs> Christmas tree, you don't watch anything, do you? No, but he is really always watching. <laughs> <laughs> you guys hang out a lot? You hang out with Christmas tree a lot, Santa? Uh, supposedly, but she gets a little freaked out when I try to get underneath her. Whoa, look out. What does Mrs. Claus think about that? <laughs> I'm too busy dealing with the cameras in my bathroom. Oh, look like that lisp really cleared up, miss. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm glad that the candy canes finally wore off. So, William, we have really exciting news for you. I don't think you're going to believe it. Is there anything else crazy that happened this week? I actually saw a movie for the first time in many years on Netflix yesterday. I don't know if you all remember Coneheads. I highly recommend it. It's a perfect movie. How about what happened with Danny DeVito this week? Uh, you noticed Danny DeVito in something? I did. That's where the Danny DeVito stuff came out. Um, what's that? This is yet another pair of <laughs> shorts, believe it what or not. What size are they? Uh, wait, you're going to have to find out. Okay. We're going to find out right now. Ooh, this Perfect. I do need some more. Those are a nice color, too. They remind me of your old shorts. I like these. What size are they? Do you see there? I can't tell. Oh, my goodness. You know what? You got new shirts, too. Look new shirts? That. Yep. New shirts. What do these say? I don't know. Read it. Open it up. What Kai happens. What does it say? I don't even get it. Oh, this is where we find out William doesn't know how to read. <laughs> Size 38, Volcom. Oh, That's a good perfect. brand. Volcom's nice. Love it. It's a Christmas giveaway. I should give these to Santa Claus to give to you. 
Little did I know. Proof again that we had no idea ever what the band's going to be. You want to open that up and give it to him? <laughs> Please, thank you. What are the odds that Santa Claus is here on a special gift-giving day of I can't Bill Tony? It. How many boxes do you? How many more shorts do I have? Ooh, this hey. one's exciting. It's it's postmarked to Billy Montgomery. Billy Montgomery. Wow. Hold on, we got two pairs in that one. Kill Tony is now an unboxing show. Oh, oh, wow. And a Merry Christmas to all. Another pair of shorts. Thank you so much. And Alan Carr's quit drinking. Perfect. <laughs> quit drinking without willpower. Two things. <laughs> without willpower? How does that says? work? <laughs> Santa, check this How out. How does that work? And a giant <laughs> bag of candy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. perfect. Look at that. So I like my cookies. Instead of drinking, you can eat a bunch of candy. Oh, and you also got a letter here. Could be money. Hey. Oh, let's see. Could be money. Could be anthrax. Nobody really knows. Yeah. Breathe in real one? hard when you open that. Yeah. Santa is opening the letter. I want to see if there's cash in there. That's yeah. all I really care about. Perhaps Hold. a check, a cashier's check. A love letter? <laughs> what is that? Is there a check? A gift certificate? A bumper sticker? Find out how not to receive the mark of the beast. Wow. Oh, religious <laughs> Mark shit. of the beast. It is a letter from a crazy person. <laughs> there may or may not be enough room for this on Red Band's podcast studio table. It's for Red Band. Oh, oh. there you go. It's for Red Band. Postmark to William oh, Montgomery. Thank you. Took a shortcut there. <laughs> <laughs> so, William, you got a few new pairs of shorts, some new clothes. What do you think? Can we squeeze in a little, uh, a little another uh, runway session today? Yeah, you want to? Yeah, let's do it. Go backstage let's do and it. we'll call you out in a bit. There goes William Montgomery. Here we go. What's your favorite Christmas uh, memory that you've ever had? Shit. Uh, you know what? I'm going to let you think about it. Let's uh, let's check in what? with your brother in cursive, everybody, trying on some new clothes for us. Here he is. It's the great William Montgomery, everybody, with a new pair of shorts. Wow. No, you can't. <laughs> William, William, you can't. No, 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 you cannot. You can't talk. Shout out to Mike Peterson from Modesto. He loves these mesh shorts. Right. I'm good. These are new mesh shorts. Uh, oh my goodness! Wow. Have you been solid? Have you solid. been doing something at all <laughs> physically? <laughs> have you been working out? Yeah, I've been working out. What have you been doing to work push out? Up. All right. Well, then do some push-ups for us. Here's some push-ups from William Montgomery proving. Oh, the hat goes backwards, and here he is. Wow. That is. That's wow. louder yeah. than everything else. There we go. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely incredible. How about some sit-ups? Can you do sit-ups, William? Enough push-ups. How about some sit-ups? I think that's what would be really interesting to see. Here's William. He's going to try some sit-ups for us. Here he goes. <laughs> Segwaying seamlessly into sit-ups. This is the moment of truth here. We know the guy can do push-ups, but whoa, oh, yikes. These are, he's only lifting up his head, really. <laughs> only, only, hold on. Everybody stop. That's enough music. Hold on. <laughs> William, wait a second. Only your, See that? yeah, only is, only. See that, Rick? Wait a second. What's that lump on the top of your head? Oh, my God, he does. He has a. <laughs> Have you always had that? Yeah, that's where I'm bald. No, what there's, the but fuck? forget. Forget about the ball. No. It's, there's a, <laughs> yeah. there's a, there's so a, where, it's an incredible yeah. lump. Where his bald spot is, there's actually like a bubble. Yeah. Like w a, William, has that always been there? Yeah, it's spina That's not, no, that's not spina That's a snow globe. How long has that been there, William? <laughs> really? Well, he never takes his hat off, so he might be right. All right. There he goes. William Montgomery, everybody, with a little showing of the shorts. Go throw on another pair of shorts. We'll bring you back in a second. Could she be? Uh, you ever think about having sex with your therapist? You ever no, get the no, case of the Tony Sopranos? It's it's not like that. Yeah. It's not like that. It ain't like that. No. But you I mean, sure? I asked her, and she was like, like, "Can I ask you something? Have you ever been unfaithful?" And I was like, "No." Like, I, I mean, I haven't. And she was like, "Well, I've never cheated." I was like, "It's like, which is true. I have never done that." And it's like, um, huh? Well, you might want to cheat when you see the incredible styles of William Montgomery in new shorts. Here we go. Here he comes. 
Here he is. This is incredible. Oh, wow. Why is it so fucking hot back there? Khaki shorts on this one. This is for all of you that are into... Uh... Why is it so fucking hot? Can you see me sweating? What would you do if you walked in uh, to your place and uh, your wife was Tell having sex you with this? Bitch. Oh, my God. I would submit. No, Be nice. What? Submit. Perfect. There you go. Bitch. What would you do to him if he walked in on you having sex with... Uh... I would have Wow, you would his, his butt? He would submit to me. Oh my goodness. He would submit. If you those were going, if you were, oh my, William, <laughs> he would submit. William, I have a question for you. Let's say you had sex. <laughs> let's say you were having sex with his butt, and you felt the urge to have an orgasm. Where would you finish? I'd where, get some nerves. Where would you finish? Uh, where would, Andy. where would you shoot your shot, William? There you go. Very honest answer there <laughs> by William Montgomery. He would pull out and shoot on your back. Right on your back. Oh, my goodness. Thanks for the shorts. William's got a lot of energy right now. Those Will are very aggressive shorts he has on right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very like Well, I think that the, the gym shorts were, like with that? the elastic made you a little bit less, a little calmer. I think, the, I think the button has is, is riled him up. Yeah, <laughs> All right, there he goes, William Montgomery with another new pair of shorts. He's going to be back out again soon, any moment now. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the big red machine, the great William Montgomery. An uninterrupted 60 seconds from audience favorite William Montgomery. Uh, whatever happened to the hooker from Fraggle Rock? Uh, I used to be the town's chief meteorologist, but then they fired me for saying stuff like, 65% chance of rain if you don't convert to Christianity. I messed that up a little bit. Uh, Memphis is known for their barbecue, lots of barbecue places. My mom asked me if I wanted to try this new Korean barbecue place, and I told her I prefer Gangnam style. <laughs> This is a good one. Uh, I thought Taco Bell had a bell on the roof and you just needed a password to get to the top of the tower. That is actually not the case. <laughs> That's a bad one. Uh, my first beach vacation was to Long John Silver's. Uh, I was thinking that set was going to go much better. Oh, God. I loved it. I thought it was great. How about that? a hand for William Montgomery, everybody? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, hi, William. Welcome. How are you? I loved it. I thought it was great. Thank you. Yeah, I actually thought it was really good. I loved the part where you said this is a good one, and then uh, afterwards it didn't go well, and you said it was a bad one. <laughs> That was amazing, and I'm sure that's going to hit hard with the people at home. Very William Montgomery-like set, very quick, fiery jokes with uh, uh, the uh, punchlines and references are very, um, very uh, nit, nit, niche, 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 niche. Cucina. What's wrong with me today? Cucina, cucina, niche, niche. Nietzsche is a philosopher. Tony, can you, yeah. can you see the spot on my butt? There's a spot on your butt? No. Does it look wet? No. Why? What happened? I've just been sweating a bunch. I don't know what I think about these cotton shorts. <laughs> oh, you're trying out some of the new shorts? I am, William, I am. William was wearing the same pair of shorts for, uh, for years, Kim, and we asked the listeners at home to, uh, to send him some shorts, and they sent about 45 pairs of shorts in the past <laughs> two weeks. And you got those wet, the new ones? I did. It's from my butt that was sweating. <laughs> you got what? a nervous butt. When was the last time you got the front wet? You know what I'm saying? A front butt? Is that a the front, vagina? No, the front wet. When was the last time you got your D wet? As I mentioned. I actually was at my place earlier. I took some Adderall and I masturbated four times. Does so the, it was earlier. Does the Adderall make you masturbate faster, m more, the same amount? What, how does the Adderall change your ma normal masturbating habits? You just become more annoying when you're masturbating. I don't. I don't know. It's hard to say. I was. I was in the zone earlier, though. He comes in numbers. <laughs> Well, I got good news for you, William. Mr. Wet Shorts. What's that? Do we have some more? There's a new pair of shorts. Whoa. 38 regular asphalt gray. Love it. 
You can go try those bad boys on, and we're going to uh, we'll see what they look like later. Let me ask you one question. You said that you messed up your meteorology joke that had to do with Christianity. I just feel like I stumbled over my words. You want to try it one more time? Yeah, let me try it again. Here we go. And action. All right, hold, cut, and <laughs> yeah, let's, let's take it from the top, and... Action. Action. Wait, no. You know what? <laughs> Let's do this. Zach, get on that camera and slowly zoom in on his face when uh, when he starts this. And you try to deliver it to that camera as much as you can. Go ahead. And action. I used to be the town's chief meteorologist, but then they fired me for saying stuff like, uh, there's going to be a 65% chance of rain if you don't convert to Christianity. Wow, you really had to read that. Straight off the card for most of the, you don't have that. I've been reading these cards for months now. Wow, <laughs> I, my memory's shot. <laughs> I don't know what it is. My memory's shot. Have you been drinking again? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Actually, uh, my Florida Gators. This is a Florida Gators hat. Oh. We beat. Uh, I knew it. Uh, Kim Congdon's also a Florida Gator. Are you really? Yeah, I recognized you. Did you watch the game on Saturday? No. We looked good. The defense looked bad, but uh, offense looked good. Who's but I, I basically, I drink all day Saturday. I oh. never got drunk, but I was sort of drinking all day. Oh, that's good. That's good to know that you're... You're a Florida Gator. That's why you have swamp ass. Yay. It could be. It is hot in here right now. Well, you can go drain the swamp in your new asphalt gray 38 regular shorts. It's really not hot in here either. You're wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I've been hot all day. I don't Alcohol know Alcohol and Adderall withdrawals he's uh, going through right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. funny because it's... Is that true. it? Yeah. Which, uh, which Fraggle not. Rock is the hooker, by the way? I always, I was... There's not a hooker on Fraggle well, Rock. <laughs> are, you, are you looking for like... You think all of his Does jokes? she have an OnlyFans? <laughs> It's one of the first episodes she's on it. <laughs> oh, that, that was good. Man. That was. That was. Uh, William, anything else crazy happening in your life this week? Not really. I've been uh, cooking on the crock pot a bunch. Oh, that's great. Nothing. There's nothing I love more than fresh cooked crock pot food from someone love. that sweats profusely. Yeah. <laughs> what, what have you made? What, porridge? Like what kind of thing? Are porridge. You yeah. You, what are you yeah. making? What's porridge? Something you make in a crock pot? No, I've been making chicken dishes. What kind of chicken dishes? Uh, pozole. Yeah. It's How do you make really that? Can you pozole. give people? Let's do a little segment. Uh, let's do a little brand new segment that we've never done on this show, where uh, you take us through the recipe for how you cook chicken pozole. Here it is in the kitchen with William Montgomery. Here it goes. Here's the music for the kitchen. Okay, y'all. You're gonna want four uh, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. <laughs> you're gonna want two to the, cans to the, to the of. What am I looking at? You're going to want two cans of diced tomatoes. You're going to want a big big old can of uh, pozole. Uh, you're going to want salt. You're going to want pepper. Uh, you're going to want to mix all that stuff up in the crock pot. You're going to want to put it on high. You're going to want to check it after eight hours. You're going to want to get the chicken breasts out of there. Uh, you're going to want to shred it. You're going to leave it in there for 30 more minutes. And, man, it is delicious. It is to die for. It probably is to die for because it sounds like you're going to have salmonella after that. There's not really not much. Eight hours cooking it? I mean, what? On high? Eight on hours? high, eight hours? Isn't it dry? It doesn't, that seems like no, a it's in time. liquid. What kind of liquid? The chicken? Oh, yeah, yeah, I missed that. You want? Uh, <laughs> oh, here we go. Here it is. <laughs> You're going to want, uh, I would say, five or six cups of uh, chicken stock. Oh, five or six pounds of chicken stock? Cups. Oh, chick cups of chicken stock. Oh, and also, Tony, I got bugged for my first headlining gig. You got bugged for it? Booked. Booked for it. Okay. It happened a couple of weeks ago. How was it? It happened a couple of days. Oh, right. A couple of weeks ago. Um, it's in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Really? No, I'm kidding. It's in Eureka, <laughs> California. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I'm excited. I have I've only ever done forty five minutes once. I have probably ten minutes. 
Wow. So I don't know how I'm going to con are these Are you people. just going to go with all these index cards? Or are you going to like put them in a book? Or are you going to have a teleprompter? I don't know what I'm going to do. So you're I'm gonna, starting to get nervous. That's like a nine-hour drive. Are you going to drive there? Or are you going to pay 39 bucks for a flight? Well, if I know anything about William, he'll take the worst possible mode of transportation that makes zero sense. <laughs> yeah. He'll put himself in a very weird position. I'm driving. Yeah, I, I he'll, hung on to the bottom of a truck. <laughs> he looks like he rides passenger on those motorcycles with the things on the side. Yeah, sidecar Willie. That's what we call him sometimes. <laughs> Old sidecar Montgomery. I'm what? Real, really excited. Again, I don't... I hope these people aren't watching. Can somebody shut the fuck up? What'd you have for breakfast today, William? Seriously, can somebody shut the fuck up? William, what'd you have for breakfast today? Uh, Pozzole. Yeah, you had more Pozzole? Yeah, we eat that shit almost every day. I think he's trying to say pizza. <laughs> no, I think I'm trying to say pozole. Oh, shit. I don't it's, think it's, Kim knows. Right. Pronounce Never mind. What William, the fuck are William, you talking about? William gets really angry, really. Yeah, fast. I mean, what the fuck are you talking about? That's the Adderall. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. When you say add a can of pozole, like, what does that even look like? <laughs> it's corn. He means, he means hominy. Hominy, yeah. Oh. Wait, is Pozzole, Pozzole, Pozzole corn then? Homie. No, oh. is Pozzole corn? Yes, or is the, it hominy? The hominy hominy is, is great. I like my corn. I like hominy. my hominy with uh, bone thugs and hominy. <laughs> I love the hominy, 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 hominy. Okay, there he goes. William Montgomery. William, go try on those shorts for us, will you? There he goes, William Montgomery. Everybody. <laughs> Let, let's see William in his new shorts. Let's do that. Let's jump right into uh, William Montgomery in shorts. Here he comes. Here he is. Oh, oh my goodness. General Bogus, get on that camera. Here he is. For those of you that are into abusive stepfathers, this is the one. He's yelling. He's very angry. <laughs> All right. Face that camera. Show us your body. <laughs> That's the camera, William. Look right down the barrel of that camera. William. I swear to God, William has no idea how cameras work. He's like always surprised when I point to the same camera every week. Oh, look at that. Hard as a rock. For those of you watching, we're slowing down the video of him getting hit full speed by Baloney Pete with a sledgehammer. My goodness, that is incredible. It's barely moving at all. The flesh is barely moving. All right. William, what do you think about those new shorts? And I love them. All right. He loves he them. Loves those are actually nice. North Face. Awesome. Really good. This Asphalt a gray, a 38, 38 regular. It's, it's getting tight again. <laughs> it's getting tight. Someone's been drinking. For, for a guy that sweats a lot, he's retaining a lot of water. <laughs> there he goes. William Montgomery, everybody. On, it's the great Jay Z once said. On to the next one, <laughs> Elias. You have failed with all three of us. You know what? Let's bring William up here. William, come on out here. William, where's William Montgomery? Can we get William up here? Oh. He's here. William, come out. Okay. Here he Thank comes. You, Here's guys. William Montgomery. So, you, William, in this scene, you're going to be playing a hot chick that wants to <laughs> fuck this guy. Ready and John May you're at a John Mayer concert. Flirt with him, go. What's your name? Elias. Sit. Elias, what's your sign? I'm a I'm a Leo. What about I'm you? a Leo too. Oh wow. So we're fiery. When were you born? August. August what? Twelfth. I was born August twelfth as well. Beautiful. It's meant to be. How old are you? Twenty six. I'm twenty six too. Say what say what's meant it's to amazing. be. Say what what's meant yeah, to be. Yeah, what's meant to be? Us. Us? In what way? Say in what way. In what way? Together. Forever? We can see about that. Can okay, let me... I, I figured it out. I figured it out. That's exactly what I thought. I, I Here's the problem. You fall in love with girls and you want a serious relationship. What you need to try to do, Elias, listen to me. Here, I want you to repeat this after me. Sure. Ready? Yeah. I am a pussy hound. He is an unbelievable joke writer, an unbelievable performer. He has his first ever headlining gig coming up, I believe, at the end of this week. Is that correct? Ladies and gentlemen, here to debut a brand new, never heard before minute before doing his first ever long 45 minute to an hour headlining set. A guy that I'm very proud of, that I love deeply. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's the big red machine, William Montgomery. Uh, I recently got back on Facebook. Uh, apparently, my entire family is dead. Uh, I saw a picture of my new baby cousin, and I can tell he has his mother's eyes and his father's penis. Uh, I enjoy seeing white and black people come together, uh, but enough about my porn preferences. Uh, so my phone died recently. Uh, guess I should have been wearing a mask. Um, my girlfriend ovulating so hard, she barking. Eh! I didn't know how to end that. That's it. That's she what, what did she She's do? She's ovulating so hard. That she what? She barking. She barking. Like a dog. I think you should I think you should say that part. Barking like a dog? Yeah. I didn't understand what the last things that you said. She barking. She barking. I would say that you should say. She's I mean, I don't even think that she's barking like a dog makes it any funnier, but I think you should at least say it so that people understand. What it. does ovulating even mean? That means that uh, that they're ha that they're having it's what happens I believe could have a baby after the period or during the period. No, it's right before you get your right period. When the, period. it's when you're most fertile. It tastes the oh. best. It's when your egg starts moving down. To it's get when ready. you can fit three balls in the hole. Hey, <laughs> it has already begun. Flynn nailing a golf joke from three point range. Is that when it gets creamy? Also, oh god, red yeah, band. Yeah, probably. What does that even mean? Oh, don't don't ask red band. What does that even mean? William. I don't even get it. I don't get the barking part. Yeah, why would she bark like a dog? Because she's ovulating. She's wanting a kid. She sees me walking in the bedroom naked. Uh, she's barking like a dog. Can you do an impression of what type of bark that she does? Oh! That seems more like a howl. I know. Wow. It's like a hound dog. <laughs> it's like I a hound dog. You're a, you are a, you are a, a smart man, William. You said that uh, you made a joke about uh, interracial porn at one point. You like to see black people and white people come together. Is I that, do. Is that true? Do you watch interracial porn? Do you watch porn, William? I do. I think I've said it before. I'm a big uh, hand job fan just because I feel like it's the most accurate thing I could be watching cause because I'm doing it to myself. Because that's what's happening. You are getting a hand job. That most is an accurate. interesting way of thinking about it. I'll watch that. I'll watch some mature stuff. Do you ever watch hand jobs given <laughs> by people that have uh, red hair on the their hand? Because if you're watching that, then it's even more accurate. I was scared you were going to ask me if I watch hand jobs uh, given by guys. Um, and I have accidentally seen a couple of those. Accidentally? Not really. Well, how much do you think you watched of one of those? <laughs> oh, God. Hours? Hours. Wow. No, 30 minutes. Do you remember any of the names of these hand job porns that you watched? Uh, so one guy's name was Sean Dragon. Sean Dragon. Shout outs. Really good. Love you, Sean Dragon. Wow. Is it a good hand job? It seemed like it. Right, now, did was Sean the guy giving the hand job or getting the hand job? Getting it. Oh, very interesting. Really cool video. Why do they call him Sean Dragon? <laughs> Does fire come out of his wiener when he comes? I don't know. I don't know. No, it doesn't. That's impossible. No, yeah, I don't know why they call it that. William. I don't know. I like that. I like uh, Sarah. Are you watching interracial hand job porn? Good question. Yeah, I watch that sometimes. Let me ask you this. Is it a black hand on a white penis or a white hand on a black penis? It's both. Oh, you like to switch it up. Oh, yeah. My goodness gracious. <laughs> I love it. What's your preference? I you can't a... stop. Oh, wow. I really can't fucking stop. Oh, my goodness. How often do you watch hand job porn? Once a day? Uh, I don't know. Five times a day. Okay. Um, That's I... a full-time hand job. It's a full-time job. <laughs> William, how's your uh, life going? You seem very present today. You seem... Uh, yeah, doing good. Yeah. You I've uh, taken Adderall the past two days. I've been writing literally 10 hours trying to compile all my jokes. 
I don't know how 45 minutes is going to go with a bunch of short jokes. It's going to go faster. I'm worried. I'm nervous. It's going to go faster than you think. It's going to be very That's smooth. what I'm talking... What? That I can hit 45 minutes or that You're I can't? You're definitely going to hit 45. You need to... You think? You need to no longer worry about hitting I 45 know. minutes. I'm generally confident, but I've been... Whatever you do, you can't get off early. I have heard a rumor that you have a weird habit of sometimes yeah. bailing early. I believe you did it in the window the other day or something like that or in the parking lot. Am well, not tonight. If it happens tonight, I got it all written out. Well, I'm good to go for tonight. Well, you're not going to do 45 minutes here at the comedy store. T- that's impossible. No, that's what they told me. No, they didn't. They said I could practice tonight. Nobody Tony. said that. Tony, the only I was thing, on the uh, show on Showtime. They said I could practice. They go. saw my name on the credits. Cat Lumber has something he wants to say. Go ahead, Cat Lumber. Uh, unfortunately, the time has passed. Let's move on. Whoa. What were you going to fucking say? Oh. I was going to say that the only thing you look like you bail is hay. There you go. Clearly, the time has not passed. <laughs> uh, so just from now on, if I tee you up, just do whatever you were going to do. Good, because daddy's liquored up, up baby. Uh, there we go. Cat Lumber continuing where he left off last week. Right and I had six tee up jokes ready to go later in the episode. But Tony, thanks a lot. I love that green. I love that green. I shirt. love that red. I swear to God, I didn't even notice that I... I Literally didn't even. I forgot you guys are golfers when I did the. T- did You're that such a golfer thing. at this point. Is this part of your comment? Well, no, it's just a saying. It's a natural. <laughs> no, no, thing. no. I think it's you tease somebody. I up. think this is the golf rubbing off. Well, you know what? Yeah, it's it's just part of my uh, part of my par for the now. course. That's Tony, a, I've been watching. Go. Tony, I've been watching your stories. Are you, you actually say bar flying for the on the course, William? Calm down. Go ahead, William. You were talking. Are you actually flying William. on those planes, or is that a? Oh yeah, I'm taking lessons simulator. now. I am officially. Tony, be careful. That's how you're gonna die. No, that's that's not how, how you're gonna, gonna die. die. No, not getting no. one of the planes is gonna go down. William. I've had a dream. William, I've had a dream. Oh, okay. Oh my God. I'll let you. Get I've it. had a dream. Okay, I'll let you run out of oxygen. Keep repeating it. You good? I just want you to be careful. It's I care a, about you. Okay, thank, be thank you so much for the care. Do you know who thinks planes crash? You know who says things like that? Dumb white trash people. So don't be a dumb white trash person. It's a 737 Boeing business jet. You never hear of those crashing. It's almost absolutely impossible. It literally never happens. Never say never. Oh, okay, William. Again, this is an ignorant uh, <laughs> ignorant way of thinking that you're showing. You know what? I don't think you're going to be able to hit 45 this weekend when you headline for the first. Yeah, I don't think I am either. I think you're going to start. Yeah, not if you're to flying him to Eureka. <laughs> Listen, uh, Tony, he's hitting at least 103. You know what I'm saying? I think you're going to fucking try to bail out at 28 minutes. I think like, I am too. No, it's not an option. Worst comes to worst, keep your fucking jokes written out and glance at it. Also, I have a couple That's stories. That's fine to do, isn't it? It's fine, but be very weary of leaning on it. Yeah. If, just if, have the in between talk also. Like if, when you're doing material, just, you know, don't be afraid to, like, you know, talk to a couple of people in the audience. Or, a little bit. You know, and, just but, a and little. Then go right. right back into it. Yeah. Like yeah. be comfortable. Try not, because I have a feeling you're just going to speed through everything and then you're going to be like 20 minutes. What in. are you going to open with? Let's do it. Let's do a little thing. Let's tee up his uh, intro music one Son more time. Son of a bitch. Oh, Jesus. That's twice. What? Tee up once okay. again. Okay, yeah, okay, <laughs> very good. Uh, so here he is, ladies and gentlemen, headlining here in Eureka. We want to see your opening joke. We want to see your opening energy. Put the mic in the mic stand, William. Ladies and gentlemen, this next guy is headlining. You know him from the comedy story. You know him from Kill Tony. Here he is, the great William Montgomery. Eureka, how are y'all doing? Uh, I've heard about your castle. Stupid. <laughs> That's good. That's good. What else? Give us one more. What are you gonna follow that up with? Um, I uh, obviously got the recessive gene. The interesting thing is both of my parents are black. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Starting straight with a yeah. You, you should joke. probably maybe go. You know, I looked up a lot about this place. You know, continue the Rika thing a yeah, little. A little bit of your. I know. I know. I agree. I came here today, as you could tell by the way I look. I came here on a hot air balloon. You could say that. <laughs> yeah. That'd be a great follow up joke. Or I should—I was thinking doing some Eureka Springs, Arkansas jokes, nope. pretending like I'm nope. in Eureka Springs. Nope. No, nope. Okay, nope. Do the hot air balloon thing because it's on you. It's what do bit, I say? What do you mean? It's a little bit self-deprecating, yet it's adorable. You know, the person who brings you up is naturally going to say, you know, that you live in LA or whatever, that you perform at the comedy store. They're going to know that you had a little bit of a trip to Eureka, so you say. After the Eureka thing, I love your castle, blah, blah, blah. As you could tell by the way I look, I came here today on a hot air balloon. That's what you say. 
Because you do. You have a hot air balloon look to you. Am I uh, right? Th- no, yeah. a thousand percent. Yeah. I don't know what it is. There's something whimsical. There's a glimmer in yep. your eye. It yep. definitely looks like you. Really, yes. Sarah? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes. I, Tony, yep. what if what if he goes, I knew I was in Eureka because I went into a store and a guy said, man, Eureka. Nope. Don't do that either. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do the other thing you were going to do. And, 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 and So the castle and then the bleh. balloon stuff. The castle, hot air balloon. And I they get right out. into As it. As you could tell by the way I look, I came here on a hot air balloon. Hey, say, it, say it straight to that camera right there. Hey, what's up, Eureka? As you can tell. I uh Nope. <laughs> what is that? Hey, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> as you can tell by the way I look. Okay, as you Okay. Hey Eureka, as you can tell by the way I look, I uh arrived here on a hot air balloon. It took about eight hours. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> the the the, the punchline should be at the end. As you can tell by you the don't way need to, What should be the punch? What should I say? Eight hours. Don't the hot time air time. balloon is the punchline. Yes. Okay. As you can airlines. tell by the Gee, what what? Jeremiah. Jesus uh, it's Christ. Flynn. <laughs> As you could tell by the way I look, I came here today on a hot air balloon. Hey, Eureka, really nice to be here. Is, is, uh, do the you castle c- joke and then do the second show. Okay. Um, this is headline, headliner training here at Kill Tony. Here we go. Uh, okay. So at the very beginning, walk up to the mic, get the microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, William Montgomery. Big round of applause. Here we go. Here comes hey. William Montgomery. Eureka, what's up? Really nice to be here. Uh, where's y'all's castle? Uh, but seriously, I arrived here on a hot air balloon. You fucked it up again, William. That seemed good. As what you do you mean? Tell by the way I look. As you can tell by the way I look. The, 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 the joke is about how, what you look what like. What did I not say that? So they wouldn't assume that you came here on a hot so air balloon. Say, a- as you by the tell- way I look. As you can tell by the way I look, you could say that if that makes you more comfortable. As you Just can tell, r- literally by the way remember I look, the Bee Gees song. As oh, you can, te- I can tell by the way okay. I look. So there you go. Tell thank, by you. The- thank you, Flynn. Thank you, Flynn, so much. Let's try it again. Shoehorning another song into a segment that does not need singing. Uh, so as you could tell by the way I look, I, arri- I came here today on a hot air balloon. Hey, Eureka, as you can tell by the way Do the way castle I- joke. Crazy. There he is, William. Eureka, nice to be here. Where's y'all's castle? <laughs> uh, as y'all can tell by the way I look, I arrived here on a hot air balloon. It's good enough. Good enough. <laughs> Eureka, you, you know what? he's got it. You know what? We got some mail for you here today. I'm opening it up. What's right in now. there? William's wearing one of his new pairs of shorts. It I am. A weekly, they go so much for shorts. It's become a weekly segment on this show. By the way, Eureka is known for Brendan Fraser. So is he from there? Yep. That's Good to know. Him and Lloyd Bridge is pretty much the only people. That's interesting that he's from Eureka. I always thought he was more of an Encino man. Yeah, I thought he was an Encino man. There you go. See. There you go. Do that as a joke. <laughs> Do that. It's a good Eureka joke. <laughs> hey, is- no, I found out. Hey, y'all, I found out that. Brandon Fraser's from here, from Eureka, but you know what? I always thought he was more He's of an, an Encino, Encino man. man. Yep, just like that. Perfect. What do we got Love here? It. Uh, Be oh, careful. It looks There's like a shirt in this that. week. Looks like a shirt. You're going to throw it at him? Let's see. All right, so you go like try that. on that shirt, and we're going to do another fashion party here in a little bit, okay? <laughs> William, Fair you're going to kill it. Congratulations on your headliner set. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the big red machine, the one, the only, the great, the powerful, the slow walking, William Montgomery, everybody. Here he is. Really nice to be here tonight. Uh, can you imagine being a VJ on MTV, which is sort of for music television, and then being fired because they no longer play music on television? Uh, bad news, my show on BET got canceled because they're going to start airing reruns of the Andy Griffith show. Uh, I'm so afraid of COVID, I called the cops because I think it's black. Uh, you know the craziest part about Elliot Smith's uh, suicide? Uh, Courtney Love did it. That's a good joke. I don't know how many people get that, but if you get that, that's a hell of a joke. Um, I'm a big baseball fan, and by baseball fan, I mean doing drugs in my parents' carport. Ladies and gentlemen, William Montgomery. 
All right. Wow. Incredible. I could barely hear you over the sound of the band moving around. Yeah, what the I fuck are they rap. doing? In every direction. It is a lot of a lot of noise back there, except for you, Blanket. I'm just a little quiet blanket over here. <laughs> there you are, absolutely. Uh, William, I might have to edit in a new intro. Maybe I give maybe I made that a little bit too good. A killer minute every week, headlining weekend and all that. That was a really good set. Then you come in guns a blazing with an MTV. Everything was like your misdirect today. <laughs> it was your one awkward hard hitter with yeah. no real... Uh, it was cool, though. You know, it's a tough position that you're in. Did, Did you, you get cable this week? I noticed uh, MTV, BET references. Yeah. What is that? I did. My favorite network is BED. Because he's a blanket. Because <laughs> he's a blanket and blankets go on the bed. <laughs> William, uh, what did you do this week? Had the... Uh, uh, Headlighting set in Eureka. So tell us about it. I'm sure the listeners are excited to know. They've been following your growth for years now. Your first headlining set. Tell us the truth about how it went. It was fun. I was able to manage. I managed to do 45 minutes. I brought my synthesizer, which I brought on the show before. My synthesizer was malfunctioning. I uh, tried to make it work. It kind of worked. I want to warn you all, everybody, nobody had masks on. I'm pretty sure it was a super spreader event. <laughs> so whoever, whoever, whomever is talking after me uh, is fucked. I've uh, already started feeling sick. Now, they, they, they changed the microphones between every comedian. Oh, okay, okay. Was this outdoors or indoor show? It was indoors. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was nothing like L.A. They're more lax in Eureka, I Yeah, guess. for sure. They're more relaxed everywhere than L.A. Uh, did, did, did you hear people coughing or uh, perhaps uh, having symptoms of the coronavirus during the show? Were there people sweating and taking their own temperatures? Yeah, there were a couple of black people who seemed really <laughs> sick. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> William. I don't think we can... I don't think we can put you in the one spot. No, I mean anymore. that's not like, even a joke. They seemed really sick. And I, like, I, was, I like how he how he said he managed to get through forty five minutes. Well, one of his uh, one of the one of the repeat problems uh, he's a repeat offender. William, uh, what? One of the catches with him is that he tends to just do the bare minimum of time. So even on an average Kill Tony set, for some reason, he usually clocks in at about fifty two <laughs> well, seconds. What was it tonight? <laughs> And I kind would be really it. interested. Did you record that set? It was recorded. What did you record it on your phone? No, some guy. Uh, <laughs> some guy? No, the guy who ran the bar, he recorded it on a GoPro. Uh huh. Have you watched it yet? I never watch any of my sets. Uh, we can. We you should watch them. Because yeah. I think I would. What does that mean? I mean, take some notes. I don't want to watch them. Why? Because I think I'd quit comedy. Why? I don't know, because I never, when I go back over my notes, I think they're not that good, and I think, what am I doing out here? I need to be back in Memphis as a teacher. Why? Is that, is that because, I think it's because he's sober when he watches his sets, right? Yeah, you got to get as fucked up as usual, then watch him. Yeah. No, don't, don't do that. Don't, he has a serious alcohol problem. Yeah, I have a problem. Don't tell me that. Uh, so, William, let me ask you this. Uh, you did the set... What do you think the odds are that you actually did like 43 or 44 minutes and you're stretching it out saying 45? I think I actually did 32 minutes. There you go. I think that's... that's so that's I did 32 right. minutes. You really believe that or are you being silly right now? No, I did 32 William, minutes. William, over here, don't look that direction. I did 32 minutes. 32 minutes. No, I did 45. 45, exactly 45. Yeah, 45, 46. When did you get the light? Uh, 40. Did they say wrap it up? <laughs> All right, m maybe just a regular rim shot after jokes like that, Joel. No, it was fun, though. It gave me a bit of confidence. I, I did, uh, I think, 125 jokes. Wow, that's great. So that I was reading out of my notebook. Uh-huh. And who did you take with you to Eureka? Eureka? Did you go by yourself? Did you take with your girl Erica. Your girlfriend. My girlfriend. Yeah. Did we you, had fun. Did you drive her there? I drove the entire way. I was able to get Adderall. I was able to procure Adderall from a friend. Uh huh. So I was taking that. I got on 70s Road Trip on Spotify. Uh, Jesus. Smoking cigs, drinking beers. You were drinking beers while driving? Blacking out. What, what, time of the day, what time of the day did you drive there? Uh, starting at 7 in the morning. 7 in the morning, and you took Adderall after that? Oh, yeah, I was blacked out by probably two uh, in the cow country of California. And then did you guys stay at a hotel in Eureka? We did. We stayed at one in Fort Bragg. Oh, wow. What was that like? We went to a hell of a pizza place. 
was it called Vito's Pizza on La Cienega? I hate Vito's Pizza, so I oh wish you wouldn't bring God. that up. What do you possibly hate about Vito's Pizza, William? It gives me diarrhea. But you eat it every and Monday. And that racist piece of shit who's always here, I really don't like him. Every single Monday you eat the pizza, though. I really don't like that guy, and I'm looking coming? at him through the lights right now. I'm, I can see. He it. sees me. I'm looking right at Charlie. He's laughing Charlie, at you. Charlie, you are racist as a motherfucker. He's laughing at you saying that. Well, I'm glad he is. Normally, I would be defensive of him and uh, defensive of Vito's Pizza, but the last time you called a sponsor racist, uh, we ended up selling a lot of their products and got a bonus from Yeah, I, I, got, I bought cool. a new Cool, I saw a bunch of that money. So Thank you. Well, yeah, no, you're not. You don't get to yeah, see the money. I no. saw a bunch of that money. Thanks. Yeah, in no way would you ever get a touch of any of that money. Yeah, I get it. It's an honor and a privilege. Yeah, I get it for you to uh, be here. It is. I appreciate it. Yeah, I got I'm, a bunch of weed. I got a bunch of mushrooms from people uh, in Eureka. Uh huh. Did you have some Kill Tony fans come out and support you? There were. I think that's all it was. Right. No they shit. They sold it out. How that's else all it could was. people possibly know who William? Montgomery yeah. No is. shit. <laughs> No shit. Can you say that? We're on the same team. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. How come you never bring your girlfriend here to kill Tony with you to the comedy store? I think it's because David Lucas uh, talks a bunch of shit about her. Oh, shit. Your own brother in cursive of the hit test. Well, my black brother. Brothers in cursive. My black brother. No, we know he's black. He's a real womanizer. So who's the girl that you brought, the, the hot blonde chick that you've been ha- hanging out with all night? Perfect. Erica will see this in three weeks. Erica, that is a lie. I came here by myself. I don't know why you say that, fucking red band. Why do you do that? I had a hell of a week with Erica. We drove in the car drove for, the I don't car. know, 12 hours. Did you guys have sex this weekend? Good question. Blanket. Uh, we... We have sex every day. Hey, we, did you wrap it up? <laughs> All right, I, I just want to. I mean, I was gonna do it on the second one, but I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the rappers know that you guys have used that exact joke three times, and uh, we we started. Yeah, the but show. was it used with a condom? I don't think so, Danny. I don't think so. All right. I don't think I was. I don't think I was. I don't think it was. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, another very interesting. Oh, how there could I are. possibly forget? I almost cut this interview short. Speaking of what? shorts, did I get some more? We got another package this week. And Open I it do up. Do believe it is going to be shorts? Yeah, unwrap that. Wow. Should we That's give it a, to the blonde chick or you? This is very exciting. Red band, stop. Oh, you want to read the note? Okay, I'll read the note. <laughs> Kill Tony Crew. Heard William needed some <laughs> shorts. Wow, look nice. at that. Did we get that on video? <laughs> yeah, Red that band. was incredible. Did you get that on camera? Oh yeah, they got it. Uh, heard William needed some shorts. I figured I'd take this opportunity to ask for a shout out for my business. I sell streetwear and vintage at Fiener's Freshest, F E E N E R S Freshest on Instagram. Huge fan of the show. Love y'all. Keep killing it. Edward, appreciate it. Thanks and for the 2XL, Edward. And he let us know that he also does a shoe and hat restoration. Ooh. So for the uh, for the uh, negative three people that want to get their shoes and hats restored right now during the pandemic, make sure you check out Fiener's Freshest. Thanks, Fiener. Thanks, Fiener. Okay, you going to go try those on so we could get a little show in a little bit? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, there he goes, William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit of a fashion show. Here's William Montgomery. Here he comes. Here comes William. Oh, my goodness. Look at this guy. Yeah, play it slow. William, 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 William. His mic is this. Fucking microphone. God, you are an absolute moron. It's almost impressive. What do you mean? Don't do that to me right there. There he is. Okay, face that way. There it is for all of you that are into. I'd like to thank Michael Martinez for these XL shorts. I am in a new remake. This is it. This is this is for all you ladies. I need to lose some weight, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to do it. This is for all you ladies that are into a man that uh, looks like your uncle that still owns a waterbed after all these years. 
You do, yep. You still sleep in a waterbed. When it breaks, you repair it. Wow, the angry, drunk kind of version of William Speck. It's very yeah. exciting. Someone definitely only did 38 minutes this weekend in Eureka. Wow. This is a guy clearly just bought his first El Camino. No, he's here. He's. A- I think this look is called train wreck. Yeah. This is a, <laughs> You're this is a very face the camera, William. Look right into the camera and tell them uh, how you feel about things. He believes in Jesus Christ. Can we see? Can we see what that looks like? Yeah. Look, to, <laughs> William. Look directly. Can you get a little bit closer there, Zach? Can you zoom in? Right there is perfect. And then a little bit lower. Get, get a little bit of that belly. All right. William, do some jumping jacks for the people at home. Do some jumping jacks. Come on, do five jumping jacks. How many of you want to see him do jumping jacks? Everybody does. This, this camera angle looks great, William. Come on, give the people at home what they want. Come on, William. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Someone's dancing. Whoa. Oh, shit. Keep looking down that camera, William. You have to trust me. Take direction. Oh, my goodness. What a stud. Wow, look at that. You might be wondering, is that a, uh, is that a, is that a man pregnant with octuplets? Is that a man pregnant? Yeah. Okay, there goes William Montgomery, everybody. I present to you the big red machine, the devil's child himself, William Montgomery. <laughs> Uh, you guys like craft beer? Uh, I like crafts too. Um, my parents' minivan is not where I lost my virginity, uh, but if you could help me find it. Uh, I'm actually uh, pretty crafty, and by crafty, I mean doing drugs in my parents' carport. Y'all seen Blackish? I have a new TV show idea called Racist Ish. Uh, y'all seen Blackish? I have a new TV show idea called Trans Ish. Y'all seen Blackish? I have a new TV show, show idea called I'm Doing Drugs at My Parents' Carport. Uh, I love how everyone that hopes Trump goes to hell will probably meet him there. <laughs> That's all I got. That sound means it's a minute. William Montgomery. William, how are you, man? I've been better. What's going on? You seem a little disheveled this week. Do you? Yeah, I'm totally disheveled. I've I'm uh, continued to make pozole. Yeah, I ate some pozole earlier. How much pozole have you been eating? I don't know what that. What is that? He's, he got a crock pot a couple weeks. It's ago. It's a Mexican dish, aren't you Hispanic? No, I'm not Hispanic. Oh, okay. You look like it. <laughs> oh, my God. You look that way. Yeah, I heard you the first time you said it. Yeah, okay. I said it again. Okay. Well, okay, you perfect. Have, <laughs> have you ever seen William before? Yeah, I've seen him before. <laughs> <laughs> We've met outside before. Benji had to pick yeah, him out of a lineup. Yeah, you want to say what you look like? Yeah. You, I thought you were about to say, do you want to say what we did? We kissed. That's not true. Tell him, tell him, yeah, tell we William, made out William. one night. I would never kiss you. Stop it. We made out one night. That's not true. Yes, it is, Stop Benji. It. I'm starting to believe William. <laughs> no, we made out one guy. night. My goodness. So, William, let's talk about it. What the, Did you just learn what the word craft is this week? Yes. How could you tell? Because <laughs> you had so many jokes with the word craft in it. You had four jokes, and two of them involved the word craft. Did you like it, Benji? Um, it was. I liked it, yeah. Cool. But it's still, like, it's why he brings it up. It's a little repetitive. There's, like, so many words out there. And you also separate, you, like, split them up with other jokes. Yeah, that's uh, called stand-up comedy. <laughs> what? I think you have a craftitude problem. Craftitude, that's not a word. Uh, have you seen the movie The Craft? Yeah. Have you ever listened to the band Craft Punk? I love Craft Punk. Yeah, what's your favorite song from them? Uh, Dance Yourself Clean. How, what is that? How does that sound? Sing it. That's an LCD sound system song. DLC sound system? It's D.O. Hughley sound system. All right, <laughs> all right. It's getting out of control. <laughs> that would be the best band. <laughs> DCL Sound System starring D.L. Hughley. 
I would listen to that. William, how's the drinking been going? It's Great. been good. I've pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Benji. That's the crazy thing. You is started that... with me. Benji. I was starting. Why post- do you say that? I was starting. Post- I've been post- doing good. Show. And you came at me. Whatever, bro. Benji. We kissed that night. We didn't kiss. Yeah, we Stop did. It. What kind of kiss was it? Did you put your tongue I in his mouth? I put my tongue in his no, mouth. No, he didn't. Stop. <laughs> I'm starting to. You're really getting Come on, Benji. I, <laughs> I kissed you that no, night. No, you didn't. Did and you, you responded. No, I didn't. I didn't kiss him back and he didn't kiss Yeah, you me. did. This is make believe. Yeah, you did. Stop it. Yeah, you did. Hey. We loved each other. No, we didn't. We loved each other. No. Yeah, you did. You loved me. Leave me alone. I loved you. I'm just trying to be a guest. We loved each show. other. Leave me alone. Stop we loved each on. other. I all right, all you. right, all right. Jesus Christ. I thought there would be like a big button coming any second. I thought you guys like maybe pre-planned no. something or something. It's, it's literally the worst podcasting in the history of podcasts. <laughs> it looks like the steroids are working on Benji. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I don't like your job. Okay. Benji! <laughs> Oh, shit. So, William, what else has been happening this week since the last time we saw you? Just a bunch of pozole uh, went on. Jeremiah had a music video shoot. That's right. Went, I went on there with him on a boat. My back is burned. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me by the look on... Um, on Rustin Wheels' face that maybe William like wasn't supposed to mention that or something, or is that just your face? Are you smiling? I can't tell what's <laughs> happening over there. Post- you missed some spots on my fucking back. I'm burned badly on my back. Can we see your wait, back Wait, right you now? put lotion on his back? Did you rub sunscreen on his back? <laughs> it was a spray! Don't look at me like that! I didn't touch him! <laughs> my God. Can we see your back? Can we see the burnt? Yeah, let's see it. Yeah, let's see. How many of you want to see William's back, huh? Oh my God. <laughs> wow. God. Oh, oh my no. goodness. <laughs> Where where's the burns at? Oh, I see it. Do y'all see that? A little. It's not really it's that not bad. bad. You're just a pussy. How is your stomach in the way of your back? <laughs> huh? I've been losing weight. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, you look great. That's what I was just about to say. <laughs> Thank you, Benji. Yeah, yeah I was, it was right about to just say how awesome you look. And Benji, I was about to say how awesome you look. Thank you. I have, I've missed you. Oh, I think you guys are about to kiss again. Um, I've missed you. Hold on a second. How have you been losing weight? What have you been doing to lose weight? A uh, sit-up machine. Is that a machine that you watch do sit-ups? How does the machine... <laughs> How does the, the YouTube mach- video I watch somebody do setups on a machine. No, really. I've I've lost, I don't know, 15 pounds recently. How many setups do you think you can do? God, probably 400. Okay, okay. Can we see you do 400? Can we get some It's going to take a while. Can we get some setup music for uh for William? It's going to take a while. I'll do some. Okay. General Zach Bogus, you want to like hold his feet or something? Nothing better than holding William Montgomery's feet during a global pandemic. There's some good setup. Wait, square up to the camera, William. There you go. Yeah, like that. But every William, every time you come up, every time you come up for a setup, look directly at that camera, okay? That one over there, the one with the red light. Here he goes. William Montgomery will now perform 400 setups. <laughs> Zoom in a bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that camera. Look at the camera, William. <laughs> How funny this looks. <laughs> oh, this is podcasting history right here. If you don't tell your friends to listen to every episode of the show after this, and this is just the beginning. Does Joe Rogan have people do sit-ups on his show? No. <laughs> All right, I believe he's at eight or nine, and it, the boy, the castle is crumbling over there. Big trouble. Oh, he's done. There it is. There you go. There you go. That's what you, you, That's it. How many did we get off there? There was like six or seven. <laughs> Maybe 11 or 12. Was anybody counting? There was six. I think he's got a fat tire there. <laughs> there he goes. Look at that. Look at the struggle to get up. This is actually the best part of the entire thing. <laughs> that, that was he's actually having, the real sit-up, was him just sitting he's, up. He's having uh, serious problems I'm right starting now. to think he's semi-retarded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a semi-joke. Whoa. <laughs> 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 
William, are you okay? He throws up a kidney. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? It was it was your favorite uh, lover boy, Benji. I'm kidding, Benji. I knew it was you. I knew you were kidding. That's why I didn't respond. Are we hanging out after this, or who's the next? Uh, what's go- what? Yeah, no, this is it. That was it, William. You're so you're so goddamn charismatic, and you're so much gosh darn fun. You know that? Hey, can I add something to one of your jokes? Uh, <laughs> what your blackest joke? The third one, uh, yeah. where you say something about the carport. You should be like carport ish. Okay, I'll think you about it. I that. mean, because everything was ish ish, and then you said something like, "And hanging out with my." I'll mom think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it. Thank you, William. Have you started drinking again? Or uh, nope. So you've been sober. You're he the was, only, you're the only dr- guy that I know that gets sober and starts to look more drunk every week after that. He, he was drinking. Uh, I'm not drinking. Yeah, I stopped. On the boat near Saturday. He oh, was he's drinking on the no, boat. No, I wasn't. Are you lying Tony. to no, us No, I wasn't. Week? Tony, yeah. you know last week when I was real loud in the green room? Yeah. I had brought Chris a gift of beers. Oh, and, come on. And William stole two of them. Come on. William, what the fuck? I paid you for that. Yeah, I know, but I just had to tell everybody. But not until you got caught. I paid you for that. Not until you got caught. All right. You're you're supposed to drink. Like, you're supposed to. It's okay. Thank you, Benji. No one wants to look at you and think you don't drink. Like, you drink. What does that mean, Benji? It means, like, you drinking is the way the world works. What does that mean, Benji? It means, like, Niagara Falls is water falling from one place to another, and you. I love it. That was a good uh, illustration of that. Niagara Falls. Benji's one of my smartest, funniest friends. I'm saying, accept yourself. And I think he just nailed you. Accept yourself. Really well. Yeah, and if you didn't drink, I'd be even more worried that you look like that. Ladies God, and gentlemen, that is the co- comedic stylings of the great, the powerful William there Montgomery. Go. There he goes, everybody. On to the next one we go. Stop. Stop. Stop.